one thing about me is I love a good morning routine, not the actual like waking up part and having to do it. I don't, I'm not a morning person really, but I love the morning, but my body naturally doesn't, but my heart does. <laughs> that sounds so dramatic. The morning routine I'm about to show you realistically only happens like three to four times a week. It honestly depends some mornings. And that's fine. No one's gonna have a picture perfect morning routine 100% of the time. Anyway, this is my ideal hot girl morning routine that I wish I did more often. Enjoy. So tired. taking you through my ideal morning routine today. I am not feeling the best this morning, but I'm hoping that by doing this routine, it will make me feel good. I talked about this in the podcast episode that I just did, but I feel like there's such a direct correlation between how my morning goes versus how the rest of my day goes. So if I have a good morning, then I usually have a good day that follows it. I only snoozed the alarm two times today. And I've been in a bad habit of doing it like five to six times. So it is 8.05 right now, slightly behind schedule, but it's okay. I feel like something that's really important to focus on if you are trying to cultivate and curate a good morning routine for you is to have a good night sleep schedule and have a good night routine. So last night I went to bed pretty early for me. I read a book, which was so nice and relaxing. And then I went to sleep at around 10.45, I think. I actually just did this same type of video where it's like my ideal hot girl routine Routine, but for nighttime, I will link it down below if you want to check it out. What I've learned is that you don't have to be a morning person to have a morning routine. The morning starts when you wake up. If you don't wake up at 6 a.m., that's okay. You're not a failure if you're not done with your workout and your morning routine by 7 a.m. Our bodies are all different when our energy flows and obviously we all have very different lives where our morning routines will all have to be different from each other. Anyway, enough of me rambling. Currently, I'm looking at my schedule for the day and seeing what I have to do. I just got this new planner recently. It's the Mind Your Business Planner and I really, really like it. I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna do my little five minute journal. I'm not really in the mood to work out quite yet, but I always put on, I always put on a workout set in the morning, whether I have the intention to work out or not, just because a matching workout set makes me feel so superior and put together. Honestly, it's kind of like an illusion. Wearing this has achieved its goal. I've been obsessed with Set Active lately, and so I've been wearing them a lot. I'm not really a big morning eater. Usually I'll probably eat some fruit. I also love peach cups. That's what I'm about to have. If you are also a peach cup eater, do you drink the juice or do you drain it? The reason I drain it is because when I lived with my parents and with my dog, I would like let him drink the peach juice at the end. Like there's a little bit after I would eat it, there'd be a little bit left. So I would let him lick the cup. And now it just feels wrong to eat it myself. Just a little snacky before I work out. If I work out on an empty stomach, I feel like I'm going to die. But then if I work out with a lot of food in my stomach, I feel like I'm gonna die. So this is like the perfect middle ground. We're 
workout is complete. I just did an incline walk today because I already did all the weight lifting <laughs> the past three days and my body is sore, but I wanted to do a nice little walk. And now I'm very sweaty. I put on a shirt because mm, to make a long story short, you can see the butt sweat with these shorts. So didn't want to be exposed, but it doesn't matter because there's literally no one in here. I love going at this time because typically no one's really working out. So yay, I'm very proud of myself. I'm gonna make some coffee. I've been really into ice lattes right now. And I think it's just because it's getting so much hotter outside that I've been preferring more of like a colder drink. My recipe is very easy. It's very simple. I'm gonna share it. I feel like I always show you guys what I'm doing, but I never like tell you. These are the coffee pods that I use. I've been using the blonde roast. I don't even know what blonde roast means. I'm gonna sound really stupid for this, but I thought like it just sounded cute. Like, oh, blonde roast. So I thought it would taste good and it actually does taste good. So I'm gonna use this today. But I also love the just regular espresso roast. And these are both the Starbucks Nespresso pods. And then for milks, I use Oatly. And for creamer, which I kind of go ham with the creamer sometimes just because this is literally the best one I've ever used. It's the all natural almond milk vanilla. And it is so good. Honestly, it saves me a lot of money doing it at home, but it also tastes better than a lot of places. And <laughs> I don't know, I feel like my own barista. It's very fun. If I could give you a sip, I would, because this just deserves to be shared. I don't know what it is. For the longest time, I could not find a coffee recipe that was actually enjoyable, but this hits. It is finally time for some breakfast. I just got this fresh loaf of bread from the bakery and I'm so excited. I'm back on my bread bullshit. It's so pretty. Look at this hunk of beauty. It is a city loaf, that's what they call it, but it's kind of like a sourdough, dark crust, light inside fluffy dough. It is so good. Here's my breakfast. I'm so excited to eat it. I love cooking breakfast because I actually know how to like cook for a breakfast. It's very easy, but I don't know. It makes me feel kind of like a, like a little chef, even though it's literally just eggs. This freaking hot sauce has changed everything for me. My morning routine is pretty much done now. I am gonna get started on some work for the day. I'm so excited because I'm starting to look through the applicants for the two job positions I'm looking for to be a part of the Ava Jewels team, which I'm very excited about. So it's gonna be quite a busy day. I'm glad I had a good morning. I'm feeling good. And that is why I like to have a good morning routine because now my mood just feels very uplifted. I'm ready to take on the day. I feel like I did the things that make me feel good good so now I can like focus on the stuff that I have to get done. If you stayed till this point in the video, first of all, you're amazing. I love you. You're a real one. And second of all, comment down below the flower emojis because it's spring. So I know who stayed till the end. If you haven't listened, make sure you check out my latest podcast. It's the morning routine that changed my life, except I kind of talk a little bit more in depth. If you liked this video, I think you'll really like that podcast episode. That's all I have to say. I love you. Thank you for being here. You are amazing. You are worthy and you are loved. And I am dizzy.